Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you very briefly my PhD researched notion board and pipeline essentially. I've been doing this for a few months now and this is quite related to my industry experience in project management and product design and so on in that field. Uh, product owner was what I was previously as well, developer. So this might give you an overview, especially in computer science, how to, how I've structured the next you know, 12 months of study and then change it from there after the research. So this is great if you're doing literature review and it seems to be the, the most minimal so all in one package I can find. I use Google Documents for writing and I use this for uh, my note taking and citations. So uh, RefWorks is what my university has. Every university should have probably their own preference, but less is more. And as you can see, we have the Kanban board, timeline, which is a Gantt chart. That's a module I have to complete at notes and reading. So Kanban board, simply put, I create a task and I move it along as I go through it. If you're not task driven, this won't matter to you. But if you are task driven, it can. Um, when I say task driven, it's the, like, the mentality of I've achieved something next or you just want to keep pushing through it. Um, Right now I'm at the keep pushing through it stage, so I don't really care. Nice little Gantt chart here. Don't need to really plan beyond June just now, but I am going to um, be filling this in shortly. That's the module. So here we can see there's subcategories to the parent page and you can write and import PDF documents in here. And then, uh, yeah, you can write more into the sub pages to support scanning over these because they're quite self-explanatory. Um, notes page, so this is basically where I can explore just my ideas, um, key points of research that potentially didn't come from a paper or they came from papers and I really like them and I want to include it in my final thesis or a paper I'm writing. In here we can you know, start collecting the key bits of information for your PhD um, that you'll probably always go back and reference. And this is the key point that I'm going to share. So I've used Trello previously for this type of thing. I've tried using in one note, I even created my own PDF application, which allows you to take notes with a stylus sheet, um, stylus, and acts as like a virtual sheet whiteboard. This is a really good way to do it, however. So these are called databases in Notion. Uh, they're just tables. Tables can contain links to pages, and essentially in each page, it can be customized and formatted to your preference. So if we take a look at this one here, visualization of cultural heritage, collection data. Uh, this should be keyed book, web article or video, paper or paper. So if we open this up here we can see I've read through this paper and written down the keywords. The citations if they have it there but also I don't care too much because I have a link here that is linked to my university's library. So essentially I can then just click on RefWorks and copy that or get access to more information here if I want to. So if you're going to link to a paper, try use your academia institution's library, digital library anyway, because then you get the citation tool of choice usually linked there from my understanding. And yeah, so breaking down the notes, reading it on one side of the page and then writing down the notes for the other, very simple. This is this one was a lot, uh, this is a lot for one paper actually, because um, it was quite fundamental. And yeah, essentially I can keep track with important papers in progress done to do. And the summary section is the next key point. I can then scan the summary and go, ah, yeah, I remember those. And then I can go over to the paper and read the more in depth notes that I've taken on it. Um, the only papers that get added here or only links I add here are things that I think are interesting. And then I'll add it after glancing it. And the same as reading the paper, abstract, introduction and conclusion or AIC. It's an acronym I use to read a paper and essentially once that's been scanned I'll put it in here to then go in depth and do a deeper dive on it or simply put it in here and fill in the notes because I've read it enough uh, for my yeah, I've read enough I think uh, so yeah that's essentially the process for it and you can create templates for each page so if I want to have a new one I can just click open here and then I go paper note template, which is what I created and it essentially just allows you to you know, put a link in and you can have the link there. And you've got keywords, citations and notes. Citations, you know, you might want to reference out to other papers, but 
not necessarily required. Um, so yeah, let me uh, first of all delete that because I'm absolutely going to forget. And everything's done by these little cards, so it's a bit like a Kanban board as well, which is you know quite nice to just move things around. The next thing I really want to uh, discuss briefly is just the Connected Papers website. Um, so I'm going to load up a paper that I like. Uh, I was trying to copy it from there, but I suck. It will then build a graph and visualize it with all the citations. So if you need to get, if you like that paper a lot, and maybe there's some citations there that you find quite interesting, then you can use this graph to actually visualize it uh, rather than scroll through. I mean, literally my thesis is about like how visualization is way better than traditional methods. So um, yeah, we can see here, this is the this is the primary one. You can see down here, it seems to link out to a, quite a large paper from 1999, structure of mood, dimensions does emotional experience have. So that's a brilliant paper I would love to see. Theory of multi-dimensional emotional experience. See, that is actually key. I love that. Um, so I'm going to open that in Google Scholar, get a link to that, and that's it. That done. I've already just found a paper that I really like the look of. It's this one here, mirroring cell. Called, that's quite okay. That's I cycle. I see. I can't even read that. So that is another way for gathering papers. And the last thing I wanted to show was printing. I hate printers. Yes, I'm doing computer science PhD, but I fucking hate printers. Um, so essentially if I get a bunch of papers that I like, that are the important ones that I've identified as important maybe in the, in the notion board, I'll then just go to a third party website and spend three pounds to get maybe 10 of these papers printed in a binder. Um, and then I can just get access to it and not have to worry about, uh, going to notion if I just want to sit down on my sofa of an evening and, um, read through it and annotate and get some sticky notes and get comprehension things. So yeah, that's the kind of the, the three stage process I have for um, well, three stages of uh, well, three approaches of researching I've found to work quite well for me. And if you're uh, when this moves more into the development stages of things, um, the Kanban board is actually going to allow me to you know, kind of track that a little bit better. And I'll have a page for the actual project. Um, but then I should be using things like GitHub more, uh, GitHub Kanban boards even, or something like that. But yeah, I just want to leave that there. And uh, let me know what you're studying. I want to hear what you do as well, because this is just me putting something out there. I like to see what the people are doing as well. So look at your studies. And yeah, I'll be streaming every day. <laughs>